What's up guys? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. Today is Friday, January 17, 2020. I didn't get to trade today as there weren't any signals in the strategy. And so I thought I would make a video, a fun video. I haven't made a fun video in a long time. And the main reason why I decided to make this video is um, as, as I'm working, I have, uh, YouTube playing in the background, whether with music or, or, you know, trading videos and this and that, I just basically use it for background noise, background music. And, um, YouTube was so kind <laughs> enough to recommend this video to me and it played, uh, I went ahead and played it. The title is I coded a trading bot and gave it a thousand dollars to trade. So naturally, as a day trader myself, I uh, was intrigued by this. I had my opinions formed prior to the video. Um, shame on me. I know. I'm sorry. But you know what? Let's let's talk about it. I don't necessarily want to say uh, that I'm doing a uh, video and, and exposing, quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes here, exposing this guy. It's just, it's amusing to me. I think it'd be amusing to my viewers and subscribers and to the trading community. Um, let's get this uh, let's get this video started, and I will be pausing the video and just putting in my own commentary on the side. Again, this is just a fun video. Disclaimer: This is my opinion, my opinion only. That is all my opinion. I have the right to give my opinion out there, right? So let's get this video going. Let's hit play guys. Okay. Here's a challenge. Can I write a program that trades stocks for me and how much money can I make in a week? So apparently this guy just said, Hey, you know what? Let's see if I can uh, build a trading uh, program and see uh, if it can make any money. Uh, that's the, he woke up one day and decided to do this. So awesome. Hill Heldon. Hope I pronounced that correctly. All right, so that's the idea for what we're gonna do today. Uh, I have no idea, no clue actually how to actually get this to work. So he has no clue, no idea how to get this to work, but he's making a video of it, so hmm interesting but we're gonna try it we're gonna see how it goes hopefully it'll work uh now let's go Ooh. the dramatic oh the hoodie the hoodie is coming on guys that means he means business it's Being monday and that means that it's time to test this thing out and see what it'll do in the wild the last week or so, I've been spending pretty much like what you just saw, like coding this thing out, trying to build it, and I've been running into just a ton of different limitations and different problems that I didn't expect. Like pretty much everything that I do on this channel, I thought this was going to be a lot simpler, but it turns out to be a lot more difficult. So get this, guys. So he apparently woke up one day and said, hey, you know what? I'm going to try to make a trading robot here uh, to see if it can make me some money and he thought it was going to be easy he thought it was going to be easy something that has been around uh for decades uh decades and decades and decades and i wouldn't say nobody but very few have cracked the mysteries or unlocked the mysteries of the stock market so apparently he thought it was easy guys a lot of the strategies in like trading and different things like that is a lot more complicated than I kind of thought it was going to be. Ah, you think? Which is really naive of me to think that it's going to be super simple. Imagine that. Uh, but that's kind of how I work. So let's go day one. Okay, so I figured I would just kind of explain to you how this script works and how I was able to make this do what it does. Awesome. So we're going to get an inside look as to what this 100% beginner novice trader and his process of how to day trade, how he decided to build this trading uh, robot here. 
So the first thing that I had to do is I had to find some sort of API that I could use to get the data for different stocks. So the pricing of them essentially for different times during the day. Oh, like charting tools, right? I mean, that's we, we all need charting tools from one form or another. Um, candlesticks, um, indicators. You know, um, that's 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 what I think that he's uh, talking about. API, API is. Uh, I had to look it up. I had to look it up. I heck, I still don't know what what really that is. It's just data, basically a data feed. But really, you need that. You don't need like a trading platform. And the second thing was I had to find some sort of way to find relevant stocks to actually look at because there's like millions of stocks that you could look at millions of stocks that you can look at guys uh, he needed to find relevant stocks like a stock scanner yeah stock scanner yeah i'm sure a um uh programmer because i i think that this guy his channel is uh having to do with programming i don't know i didn't do my research on this guy uh, but uh, you would think that he would be using a sophisticated uh, program for a stock scanner you would think right and i can't look at all of them and it's not relevant to look at all of them so i needed to find some sort of way to actually find relevant stocks to look at and the third one probably the biggest one was trying to find some sort of strategy for how to uh, trade essentially so when to buy and when to sell different stocks so coming up with a strategy there and uh, the first one finding the api what i used was something called alpha vantage which uh, i found a lot of people recommending and uh, i used the free version which let's see here so we're looking at alpha vantage real time and historical stock data uh forex and cryptocurrency feeds 50 plus technical indicators global coverage Okay. Hey, I've never heard of Alpha Vantage. I'm, sh I'm sure m many of my subscribers or viewers have. Um, so let's keep going. This, this so far seems, I guess, pretty legitimate. Alpha Vantage, which means that I was limited to just five API calls every minute. That means that I kind of had to decide. I had to figure out a way to find just a couple different stocks to focus on each day, because I couldn't make that many calls. Um, I, full disclosure, um, complete ignorance here. I, I'm not sure exactly what he's talking about. Um, only five API feeds, um, uh, five calls of some sort. Um, that doesn't necessarily make sense, uh, to me anyways. Um, but let's continue on. So I decided to just focus on five stocks, uh, per day. And essentially what I use is yahoofinance.com. I use Selenium. Yahoofinance.com. This, <laughs> this is what he's using as a stock scanner to find relevant stocks. He's using Yahoo Finance, the most unsophisticated form of scanning <laughs> for stocks. Okay, this is uh, this is inter this is getting interesting. You have to do some web scraping on there, and essentially find the stocks that have changed the most during that day, and then I find the five ones at the top, and then those are the ones that I'm going to be checking throughout the rest of this. So, very easy, very self-explanatory. Um, <laughs> he uh, he decided to just pick the five stocks that moved the the highest in percent change let's see here no uh in actual dollar amounts it looks like if you take a look at the change here yes um okay i hey yeah that's the true uh, in order to make money you need to find the most volatile stocks uh that are gonna move the most okay i mean i'll i'll believe that uh, the run of that script and so that's kind of how I find the stocks that I'm actually going to focus on and then the last thing is going to be the strategy so when to buy and when to sell this was a very um, 
this was a part in the video that I was actually excited to uh, to watch and hear about uh, because that's what it's all about is the, the strategy, right? And since I can only do five API calls every minute, that means that I kind of decided to uh, do one call for each of the stocks that I'm focusing on every minute. So that means that I get the price of each stock every minute updating. He's talking about the one minute chart, right? Am I right or am I wrong? And so that's kind of what I had to work with. And the strategy that I used was something that I found on this website. And there'll be a link to this website in the description as well, in case you want to look at this too. But <laughs> essentially what this was, was that what they're using as an indicator is when the stocks move above the previous average uh, high, as far as I understood it. Once the price has crossed the high of the medium price, wait, wait, let's let, let's go back. Wait, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? The stocks move above the previous average uh, high. Move across the previous average high. The average high. Okay as far as I understood it. So as you can see here, here it has a high up here somewhere and here it has one that's pretty close to this one. So as wow. you can hopefully tell by now, I'm not an expert at this at all. Really, really, Kale, Hel what, what, what's your, Kale Hel Heldon? Really, you're not an expert in stock trading. Huh, imagine that. So I'm not trying to teach you uh, this. I would recommend trying to learn all this stuff from somewhere else. I probably should have focused a little bit more on actually learning this properly before. I Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now, now you're saying, oh, I kind of don't know anything about this, but I'm still going to uh, build a, a trading bot to make me a crap ton of money. I got started. But yeah, so when I buy or when I sell is based on this particular diagram. Uh, so this is what I used. Okay, so that's kind of how this script works. And mind you, mind you, he just randomly went to investopedia.com and just picked a strategy. I mean, it, that's simple. Hey guys, you can build a trading bot just by picking any random uh, a strategy that you find on any random website, I guess. And now what we're going to do is we're going to invest a thousand dollars today and we're going to leave it for five days. Each day it's going to divide the money in five and then essentially it won't invest more than a fifth of the money in any of the stocks at any time. And then at the end of the day, we'll see how much we have. And then the next day it will do the same thing. All right. So let's run the first day. All right. Let's run the first. Oh, nice touch there. You guys see that? You guys see that awesome hacker style program programming sort of touch there? Pretty awesome. Nice touch. In coding intensifies. You know what? Actually, while I've got you here, I just want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Kite. Oh, the sponsor. Kite is an auto completion the sponsor. Engine for you know Python what? I'm just going to cut to it. All right, so that is day one done. And uh, this is what we ended up with. Four point seven dollars. He made so I created four dollars and seventy three cents. Hey, that's a win. A win is a win. A win is a win. A JSON file here where we essentially save every time we purchase a stock, we save it here. And this then lets me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He went and built the coding for this trading robot straight from this program that I've never even heard of, but Hank, I'm not, I'm not a, a programmer by any means. I don't know anything about programming, but he was able to build a pro a, a trading robots, um, code for trading uh, robots. But how is he executing his trades? Who's his broker? How much is he trading? How, how much, is are, are his commissions we don't know this <laughs> he doesn't talk about this he doesn't talk about any 
of the specific details that us traders actually need to know. But <laughs> let's continue on. See kind of what, what stocks did I buy today and what stocks did I sell? And do I own any stocks currently? So right now, uh, at the end of the day here, we don't own any stocks, which is good. Which, that means that we sold everything before this. Again, mind you, he's not showing us his uh, broker account. He's not showing us the actual executions of his trades. Um, let's move on. Stock market closed. So if we take a look at this first one here, for instance, we can see that we bought this at $87.5. Whoa, 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 whoa. He just now mentioned that he bought KRTX, KRTX. He bought it at 87.5114, according to, to this information here. But if you take a look at this, <laughs> this is the close of, if you know trading, um, I'm just going to explain it this way. This is the close of of the, the price that it closed at, the high, the low, the name of the stock, the opening uh, price, and the volume total. But he's claiming that he bought it at 87.5114. What? Dollars, and we sold it at $91.7. So he bought at this place that says close and then he sold this where it says close what so if we just do some math here then we can see that we made about a five percent uh, profit on that particular uh, sale or that particular stock and as we can see we bought that several times during that day <laughs> the highest that we sold it at was uh, 97 dollars so we could have, if the script would have been ideal, it would have just bought it once and then sold it at its highest. But I'm still pretty happy with this. If we take a look at the second buy, it bought it at $92. And the second time it sold it at 94. So we still made a profit. Last one, it bought at 95, sold at 97. So we only made profits today, which is really good. As long as I'm like not losing money on the script, I'm going to be pretty happy. Now I'm thinking that we're just going to run this script for the next couple days and then we'll see at the end how much money I made or lost and uh, we'll break it down day by day to kind of see what happened each day. All right, so let's do that now. Oh, oh, I like that. I like that, guys. I like how he, ooh, that's even better. I like how he just pressed a button, all of these numbers and times and hacker style stuff just showed up on his uh, laptop, uh, all, you know, coding, coding stuff. And then he's sitting down like he's not worried about this at all. How sweet would that be if we could all find a way to do this? The, the greatest part about this is that he knows nothing about day trading at all. He doesn't know anything about investing or trading anything at all, but he somehow was able to program uh, a trading robot. I like how I love, I absolutely love like the coding here. Like, like it's scanning or hacking something. <laughs> it is the coolest, funniest thing ever. All right, so this is day five and we've now ran this script for five days and uh, it wasn't as exciting of a result as I would have hoped. Uh, as you saw the first day, we made $4.7. So with a $1,000 budget, we made uh, $4.7, which is okay. That was uh, the profit that we made that day. And then on day two, we made $18.00. 0.67 cents awesome. which uh, was quite an increase from the uh i didn't sell anything at a loss actually which kind of makes me a little bit skeptical but kind of like how i'm feeling about you right now kale halliday Haladin, however you say your name i'm feeling pretty skeptical about you right about now i have a feeling that we both feel about the same way 
uh, I believe that and then on day three we came in at $1,023.064 dollars uh, which is kind of where this uh, interesting story sort of ends because day three day four and day five all ended up with the same result so we got 1023.0 dollars so essentially so essentially during these five days we made 23 dollars which is a pretty good profit but the last three days we did making 23 dollars in five days and being able to do that while you know i push a button and then hacker stuff comes up on the computer and i get to sit back and get on my phone watch tv eat some snacks go to the bathroom do whatever i want i would have i, I would take that all day i would take that all day didn't make any profit or any loss probably because the stocks that we were picking didn't actually change enough to, for the script to trigger to buy or they didn't change in the way that my strategy was set up so didn't end up buying anything on those days but at the end of the week we ended up with a two percent increase uh, in profits but compounding that over time over like a year or something like that that would end up being a lot of money and hey that's like the one of the smartest things he said in this entire video compounding money after a year or so would be like having a lot of money that's that's a pretty good you know uh uh sort of analysis that you did there or findings and that would be a pretty huge increase if it kept increasing by two percent each week or each five days all right, so I'm gonna be honest and say that this, I hope this was gonna be a little bit more extreme, like more extreme than just a 2% increase. I was hoping like maybe 50% or like 100% or maybe even a decrease in 100% or something like that. That's pretty much the entire video there. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, this is, this is terrible. Like this is, if you're going to make a video like this, if you want to try to convince people that you're really smart or you're an expert in something, do your research guys. Like really, the, you know, like anybody that actually trades the stock market, um, you know, they know that this guy is just full of crap. Um, nothing about this video seemed realistic. Nothing. Um, he didn't talk about commissions, um, what, you know, what broker he was using, what the actual coding was, uh, for, for the, uh, trading bot that he coded. I mean, this is a coding, um, channel, YouTube channel anyways, right? You would think that he would actually talk about him, um, scripting the code and whatnot. Um, guys, I mean, at, at the end of all this. There was, there was something that um, I missed in the video um, that I didn't talk about. He did mention that um, out of that $1,000 that he was going to split up that $1,000 into, um, the way he said it is into five different lots or a fifth, I think that is how he actually said it. Um, Each day it's going to divide the money in five and then essentially it won't invest more than a fifth of the money in any of the stocks. At um, so he was only trading uh, $200 at a time and he doesn't go on and explain um, how many shares of the stock that he was trading and apparently he only traded that one stock whenever he said that he was at least going to have five different stocks. I, I'm not sure. Comment down below, guys, what you guys think about this video of this guy. I mean, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Kale um, Hel Heldon. Heldon, Heldon, Kale Heldon. Um, I, I'm sorry if I can't mention your, your, your name correctly. But you know what, Kale? You were entertaining. You were absolutely entertaining. At the end of the day, that's all you were doing was entertaining us. And I thank you. I salute you very much for your entertainment, Kale. So don't forget to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my videos. Maybe I do this, you know, once a week, once a month just for fun. I think it's hilarious. 
uh, that there's so many people out there scamming people, whether it be scamming people out of money or just uh, trying to make them believe that they are someone or something that they're not. So drop a like. Let me know what you think about this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Guys. See you guys here on the next trading video. Hopefully it's a green trade next week. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a nice weekend. You guys take care.